We have just arrived from Otamatata, which Mike and I are using for a base for a few days, and are just passing through Omarama on our way to Mount Cook. Turning left onto State Highway 8 goes over the beautiful Lindus Pass to Lake Wanaka and Queenstown. We are heading north, bypassing Twizel, then turning onto State Highway 80 to Lake Pukaki and Mount Cook. And it's not looking too rosy by the look of those clouds. I was pleased to see the weather improving. Then when New Zealand's Mount Cook became visible, we pulled over straight away because we didn't know if that was the first or last opportunity to see it. As it turned out, we never saw it again. Yeah, there's a little shopping centre around there. I'm going to go poke your nose around there and have a look. Being situated inside a national park, it is not possible to own property in Mount Cook Village. However, because of the year-round operation of the hotel and motels, the village has a small permanent population of around 250. There are no grocery stores apart from a small inn hotel convenience store. The nearest supermarket is 65 kilometres away in Twizel, the closest town. There is a self-service petrol station behind the hotel complex. Mount Cook Village operates a small school with a roll as low as a dozen children. The only school in New Zealand inside a national park. Blue Lake. I guess it would look blue if there was a lovely blue sky. Well, we uh, had a look at Blue Lake, and now we're going to go up the saddle and see what surprises lay out for us there. We've got our drone in case. So, uh, 
Tasman glassy of you. I look forward to that. I didn't see the drone, I was hoping to think of this one on that. Oh, so cool. Oh man, look at that! There's a, uh, an iceberg or two. Brilliant, hey? A, a genuine iceberg. We've just passed Twizel and are now crossing Lake Rao Tanawa Dam. And the channel to Lake Benmore on your left. All the lakes in the district are linked by channels that are full of salmon. Salmon farming is a big earner for the fat caps, which is mostly exported overseas. If you come past here, make sure you sample some fresh salmon.